Hey guys, it's Dwayne Huff, author of the book, Write Your Own Ticket, How to Turn Your Passion into Your Profession, and Do Work You Love on Your Own Terms. And I wanted to go live on this video, it's not really live, it's recorded, and uh, talk about three key things that you can do right now to go from where you are right now to where you want to be if you've ever thought about starting a business of your own, doing something you love on your own terms, but not wanting to take a huge risk. So without further ado, let me jump in. Number one, get crystal clear on exactly what it is you want. One of the biggest challenges that we face as entrepreneurs, either budding entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, or full-time entrepreneurs, is that we get distracted so very easy. We have bright, shiny object syndrome. We have tons of creative ideas and we want to execute on all of them, but there's only so many hours in a day and we, have, we only have so many resources. There's a book called The Dip by Seth Godin and it speaks to it. It's a great book. It's a quick read. I highly recommend you get it. He talks about before we set out on a journey, we need to make sure we have the time, the effort, the energy, the resources, the money to be able to get through the dip that naturally happens as we're trying to get things off of the ground. So many people who start out get stuck right there, have to turn around and go back. And for us, many times that's going back to our jobs or going back to something that we don't like. So getting clear on what you want becomes imperative. So how do you do that? Well, number one, brainstorm everything that's in your mind right now and dump it on a piece of paper. Get it all out. Get it out of here down to here. That's going to take away much of the overwhelm you might be experiencing right now uh, in terms of what do I do? Where do I start? What's next? Is this even viable? What if I do this? Or I could do that. And I've struggled with it time and time again. If you put it all down a piece of paper, it'll take the magnitude of um, the overwhelm down and help you to really think through. And then ask yourself this. There's an old Indian proverb that um, I saw back in 1996 and it stayed with me um, every day of my life since then. And it kind of helps me filter and weed through the things that are a great idea versus just a good idea. And here's how it goes. It says, many things in life will catch your eye, but only a few things will capture your heart. Pursue those. So when you take a look at all that that's on your paper, ask yourself, if you had a year left in your life and you could pour it in to just one or a couple of those things that are on the page and make your impact and make your difference and start a business that mattered, that was profitable and that you were absolutely passionate about, which one of those or those few would it be? And is there a way to bring them together? Uh, for me, when I got clear, uh, I, I always like to say that I believe your past tells you about your future. So I looked over my defining moments in my life, the time where I had some art talent and that was brought out, the time when I started playing the saxophone and that was uh, highlighted, the time when I saw a leadership speaker for the first time, and then the time when I was 21 years old when I caught the entrepreneurial spirit. spirit. And all three of those have come together to help me do what I do today. Um, I'm a speaker, trainer, coach. I play the saxophone. It's a business and that creative talent, that art talent comes into my marketing. So they all came together and allowed me to focus. What is it for you? The first thing you have to do is get clear. Number two, uh, the next thing you need to do is once you're clear on what you want or what you want your business to look like, is start reaching out and telling people about it. Reach out to your network. Open your mouth. Tell them what you're trying to accomplish. Ask them if they know anybody or any opportunities. For me, it was um, I, I reached out to a friend of mine and said, hey, I want to be a speaker, trainer, and coach. Do you know any opportunities or any organizations I might be able to go to serve free of charge to get the word out and the message out? And actually, I didn't have to serve them free of charge. It actually turned into be my first three paid speaking engagements right out of the gate. Who are the people in your life that if you just told them what you were trying to do, they could open the doors for you? Because remember this, all opportunity comes through people. So get clear on what you want and then start by telling the people uh, that know you best, that like you the most, what you're trying to accomplish and I'll bet you they'll open the door for you. I'll give you a perfect example. This past year, one of my good friends opened the door to a $53,000 speaking engagement. Uh, actually turned out to be a training and some coaching involved in it. But one person was able to open that business to me. What can one person do for you? So get clear, then tell other people about it. The third thing is this, anticipate and be willing, willing to meet with failure fast, furiously, and often. But don't look at it as failure. Look at it as feedback. Look at it as iteration. You're gonna bring your idea, your concept, uh, your passion 
your product, your service to market, and you're gonna put it in front of people, and some people are gonna love it, some people are gonna hate it, some people are gonna ignore it, some people are gonna tell you what they want. Be willing to have that setback come to you in the form of feedback and start iterating. Put it out in its original form, take the feedback, iterate, put it back out. Take the feedback, iterate, put it back out. Don't look at it as failure, look at it as um, iterations that get you closer to the final product because when you start listening to what the market is telling you, it's gonna take that original idea you have, which basically stays core, and it shows you how to wrap it up and present it to your potential market in the way that they want to receive it. Many businesses have died because people say, here's what I wanna offer, and the market says, no thank you, we don't want it. But if you listen to what the market's saying, they'll tell you exactly how to package it and give it back to them. I'll give you a perfect example. Um, I, I went early in my career, 2006, to a conference where I wanted to go speak on this topic right here. Write your own ticket, turn your passion into your profession, pa turn your passion into profession, do work you love on your own terms, which is a great message. The market didn't want to hear it. What they wanted to hear was leadership. And what I've since come to find out is if I would have just listened to that, I could have said, how to write your own ticket through leadership and they would have received it all day long. So the third thing is put it out there, but expect feedback. Don't take it as failure. Iterate, put it back out. Iterate, put it back out. Iterate, put it back out. And before you know it, people will be coming to you saying, hey, how do I get that product or service? Hey, can I get you to come and do that for me? And there's countless stories and examples. If you'll just spend a little time on Google, you'll see people doing just that. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's served. This is the time to start right now. And listen, if you haven't got a copy of my book, um, it's, $5.60 on my website for a digital download. Write your own ticket at academy.com. You can pick it up there. If you want a free copy of the paperback that you see here, 167 pages, I want to say, uh, just pay shipping, which is eight bucks to get it anywhere in the United States. I've already bought the book for you, but just cover my shipping costs so I don't lose my shirt. Um, and there's also some ways to get that book free, along with free coaching for me. But here's what I want to do. If you pick up a copy of my book for $5.60 on my website, the digital download, I'm going to send you an additional copy, which is a 62-page version, which you can read in one sitting, and it gets you an action plan, and you can go right there. But I'm also going to send you an hour and 20, hour and 15-minute video that I recorded on the blueprint a seven step blueprint that I lay out here in the book uh, and I walk you through it step by step by step. So at the end of that hour and 15 minute video, you can go apply it and be off to the races with everything you need to be successful. So until we talk again, remember you can write your own ticket and design the life you want on your own terms. You just gotta be willing to get clear on your vision. Put the word out to the people that can open the doors for you and be willing to receive the feedback, not taking it as failure, but taking it as ways to improve and iterate so you can ultimately bring to the market what you're passionate about and the way that they want to receive it and live the life you deserve on your own terms. Go to the website, web, uh, writeyourowntickettacademy.com. Get a copy of this book. I'll send you the free training, and uh, we'll start this journey together. Have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.